Hi, I'm Michael Castiglione. I'm a chief designer here at Advanced uh, Product Design Center. It's called Pacifica in Chrysler. I'm Alan Barrington, designer at the Pacifica Studio and designer of the Challenger interior. The mind's eye was a, was a question that, uh, that came out by Tom Tremont, who was our VP of Advanced Design at the time. <clears throat> we thought it was a great question because he asked, you know, what if, what I'd like this thing, my vision of it on the show stand would be the mind's eye of the original Challenger. And what he meant by that was all the best elements that you remember. Sort of like when you think of the car, you reminisce on it. You remember the, the simplicity and the basic lines and the hunched rear fenders and the power and the hemis. And, but you kind of forget about the fit and finish not being really great, um, the tire to body not being really great, and a few things that are a little bit quirky about the original, only because of, mostly because technology has changed in cars. Um, so we kept that in mind as we sketched on it the whole time, that this, this sort of iconic, your per perfect vision of the car becoming the final car. It should be more than just um, a Challenger badge on the car that tells you it's a cha Challenger. I think it, you should look at it and you should know that exactly that it's a Challenger. And one of the goals that I personally had on the car is I really wanted the Mopar enthusiast guys to love it. I wanted them to look at it and say, man, that is the car that I want. It's got the modern amenities with the old kind of spirit. And that I thought was really important. I wanted to make those guys proud, which was a pretty heavy weight to carry, but I think we pulled it off. One of the things we did, both with the exterior and the interior, was we picked it apart when we started. We said, okay, what are the signature things here? And it goes back to what Tom Tremont said about what's your mind's eye of the vehicle. Um, for instance, on the exterior, the sill really tucks in and has this really high thrust line on the car. It has a kick up in the rear, which is very distinctly Challenger. No other cars did that back in that time. There's a lot of similarities in pony cars and muscle cars to the basic silhouette, but Challenger kind of owned that kick up line, so that had to be there. I also like the wheel a lot because it's a, it's a complete departure from the, the old heritage wheels. Um, we played around a lot with an original rally wheel and see if we could kind of take that into the, to a new century, but it seemed like when we did that, it was looking too much like a luxury car wheel, real intricate, in, intricate details on it. And so I just thought the most aggressive wheel is a five spoke. So I just played around with that and came up with this unique way of cutting it out through the spoke and the side to make it look like it's been lightened because weight is such an important element to a muscle car. Part of the, the five spoke is that there's a lot of negative space, so you can, you're able to sort of play up the brakes, which communicates in a muscle car performance, which is kind of, you know, to the core of what a muscle car is. You can paint the calipers a bright color. It's a, it's a modern look, and it also communicates performance. You know, the door panels of the original, they had a, a molded uh, production type um, fabrication, and it, it had a, a really modern type feel in that day. Um, so I wanted the, the same feeling to, to be present in this one. Um, the center console in the original has a, a gate that comes around the shifter and it, it creates the, the focal point of the shifter. So I, I did that by angling the surface uh, along with the shifter towards the driver and it has that trapezoidal signature that the original had. I think there's just been so many bad replica wood <laughs> things in cars these days that it's just not as taken as seriously, and sometimes it's go, it takes a car a little more in the, the luxury direction than, than a performance direction. So again, to keep this as serious and performance-based as possible, um, we went with the, the metals and leathers and rubber and those things. What I love about the original muscle cars and pony cars is they're really pure forms. They have, they have a bold kind of look to them. They have a stance. They have some sex appeal in the shapes, and they're extremely pure, which is tough for a designer because when you edit a car down to its minimal lines, that means every line has to look just right, three-dimensionally. And I think there's a lot in the details and the fit and finish and the, the stance of the car being more aggressive, I think, even than the original. It really did capture your mind's eye of the original car. But when you see the two of them together, we've had some photo shoots where we have a 70 and this, and they're similar colors, and you can really uh, adjust your eye to what the 
proportional difference and what the detail difference is. And one thing that we really tried to do on this car was capitalize on our signature sedans right now. And they have this really thick, chunky body with this sort of slammed looking roof on it. And if you look at the original Challenger, it had a pretty big, uh, lightweight glass upper on it and kind of a thin, slim body on it. So that's a drastic difference between the old car and the new proportion where we tried to, I think that's the biggest reason that it, to me it looks m a lot more modern is the, is the thicker body side with the sort of chopped looking roof.